We were living off $35 a day per diem. At the height of his fame, Lance Bass says he and other members of NSYNC were making less than minimum wage, despite being one of the most famous boy bands in history. We knew we had number one albums, number one tours, the biggest merchandise sales in the world. I remember this one trip to Los Angeles I was so excited about because this was going to be our first check presentation. But we opened up the check and it was $10,000 when we were owed millions of dollars. And that's when we started calling lawyers. Bass says Lou Pearlman, the man behind the magic, scammed them out of millions. When NSYNC wanted out of their contract, Perlman sued them for $150 million, but the judge sided with NSYNC. Bass says they eventually settled with Perlman out of court. Reliving this moment in your life that was not a great time, you know, it, it hurts, you know, it's emotional, and it brings up all these feelings that you really kind of suppress for a long time. Years later, Perlman was convicted of running a massive Ponzi scheme, stealing more than $300 million from investors. He was sentenced to 25 years in prison and died behind bars. How did you process Lou's death? I thought I would be more sad, but I wasn't. I didn't cry. I felt relief. Like, I felt like it was an end of a chapter. I still had one more question for Bass, and it was about their hit single, Bye Bye Bye, off their album, No Strings Attached. Oh, baby, bye, bye, bye. Is Bye 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 about Lou Pearlman? You better believe it. <laughs> the whole No Strings Attached, Bye Bye Bye, that, uh, that whole album was influenced on us saying goodbye to Lou Pearlman. Listen, I think that people are going to learn a lot about the making of some of their favorite bands. And I don't think people are even going to believe that they were being paid less than minimum wage for three years. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. I know that members of other boy bands, say the Backstreet Boys, um, they also appear on this documentary. What did they say? So some different people from different bands did appear in this documentary and they all talk about how Lou Pearlman really pulled the wool over their eyes and promised them fame and fortune and they got the fame but that they didn't get the fortune. I think that what's most shocking about all of this is that NSYNC went on to you know successfully get out of their contract but despite all of these headline making stories in the 90s and 2000s Lou Pearlman still went on to make more bands, including O-Town, LFO, and that popular MTV reality show, Making the Band. So he continued to see success for many years, but he ended up going to prison. Yeah, yeah, good point. Chloe, thank you so much. Thank you.